Hi, I'm Vivian the Knitter. And I'm Allison the Crocheter, and you're listening to Keep Calm and Carry Yarn. Thank you so much for joining us for episode 92 of Keep Calm and Carry Yarn. This is a knitting and crochet podcast brought to you by me, Vivian, and my daughter, Allison. I'm recording in Edinburgh. Me too! (laughs) (laughs) We are in the same room, so for anyone who's just listening and not watching the video version, we're sitting right next to each other. Um, So yeah, it's a special episode. My mom is here, as we mentioned in the last one, to help with sweater weather but actually also just to help with everything (laughs) packaging orders which has already begun um even though of what of the magazine more at magazine (laughs) i'm really good at (laughs) self-promotion i got i got to hold them in my hands many of them Mm -hmm. and in fact (laughs) right now our camera phone slash camera is resting stacked on some boxes of magazines so (laughs) the boxes actually we managed to find one corner of the room where it isn't full of boxes um because the other bit of the room is just boxes 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 but you can't see anything behind us well there's actually yeah under us well behind us there's a stack (laughs) anyway thanks for joining us um and we actually do have a special thank you yeah there's uh babs 707 on ravelry she found us a little while ago on Spotify, and um, she left a really, really nice comment. She well, did. Um, and yeah, I hope you come see more of Scotland someday, too. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm not moving to Minnesota, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even want to be moving to... Where am I moving to again? Michigan. She's, <laughs> she's done moving, but she's not done moving. Yes. She's being forced into it against her will. Uh-huh. <laughs> As always. <laughs> right. Shall we... Um, do our BuzzFeed quiz? Sure. Uh, okay. Let's see. So the quiz is, go on vacation to find out what kind of BuzzFeed commenter you are. I don't think I've ever commented on BuzzFeed before, but we'll apply it to commenting on ge- in general, which I don't do very often, but sometimes. Well, I thought it was kind of funny because it's it was specifically a BuzzFeed commenter. Yeah, and you're kind of on... I mean, you're not really on vacation. You're on a, a working, a working, <laughs> a holiday. working trip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, what'd you get? I got the underrated commenter. Your comments are amazing. They receive some likes and every once in a while reply, but not nearly as much as they deserve. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree with that because I don't do very many. So I'm like, when I do, I'm like, it's a good one. <laughs> I got the opposite. I have the first commenter. You're always the first to comment. Your your comment. Your comments always get a lot of likes because they've been there the longest, mm. which is so not me because I never comment. <laughs> no, but I feel like if you can apply it to like general life, you're very chatty. So it's like, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so what kind of vacation are we going on? Uh, I did a really weird, like, I feel like the idea was that you did answered all the questions to apply to this one vacation but mine are just like it doesn't actually make sense so for my ideal vacation destination the options were weird rhode island new york florida or london like why would you pick those as like the only four options and I picked you're two. actually going to be in all four of those places within the next few months oh my god <laughs> well i was in florida in july uh-huh. i'll be down in london in a week or so actually i was in london a few weeks ago anyway I'm going to New York in December and Rhode Island in November. November. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, I picked New York because I figured like a city, I like like big sort of, I mean, not capital cities, but like big cities with lots of culture and stuff. So that's why I picked New York. I picked London because this is my vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were. Well, yeah. we're, I was in London. Now I'm going, we're going to be going back, but right yeah. now I'm Edinburgh. So that's as close as to uh, Edinburgh as I can get on this quiz anyway. Uh, how long would your vacation be? Two weeks. I picked one week because <laughs> I just went on a holiday and it was less than a week. And I was like, oh, I'm ready to be home now, actually. Because I like to travel, but I like being home. I feel like if I'm going all the way to London, one week is not quite enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and two weeks might be just like by the end of two weeks, I'd be like, okay, time to be home. Yeah. So this is the thing that I said doesn't make sense. Where are you staying? So I feel like if you're going to London, you would have to stay in an apartment 
out of those options because the other options are lake house rental cottage or cabin <laughs> but i picked a lake house rental because i was like out of the four of them like just generally minus the new york part i would that sounds like the nicest okay well i picked the cottage which you can't really find in london can you? no <laughs> but that was the most appealing to me but we have stayed at a cottage by your in-laws Yes, not in London, but yeah. Not in London, but that was nice. Uh, right, let's do one more. Maybe we've got to do the food question. Okay, right? fine, food, food. What food will you be eating the most of? Candy, fast food, seafood, or barbecue? Well, looks like we picked the same oh. thing. Seafood. seafood. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like seafood for me, because of the picture, even though I don't really like shrimp. Or prawns, as they like to call them. Yeah, right? it's sort of a proxy for like fancy food. Like when I'm out, I'll like to like go to a, a fancier, not like a fancy, fancy restaurant, but like, you know, nicer restaurants and try like the top rated restaurants of the place I'm at and stuff like that. Well, I was thinking London, fish and chips, seafood, because it didn't specify mm-hmm. what yeah. kind of seafood. Yeah. But also fancy seafood. We did have some pasta with crab in it. We did. Yeah. yeah, it was very yeah. good. Okay. Um, crafty content. Mm-hmm. So... Do you want to go first? Sure. I'll go I feel first. like I go first a lot. You do. Okay, so I have my Sprites Fen shawl by Helen Stewart, which is going to be the wedding shawl for your sister. And it is... Oh, shoot. I'm in the middle of a row. I, did, I forgot to... Uh, anyway, I'm at 45% done. And it's mm. the other way. It's hard to spread out when you're in the middle yeah, of the row. Yeah, when you're in the middle of the row. But one thing that is really nice about Helen Stewart's patterns is that they're, it's in, um, not chart, like a... Table. Table, yes. Very good. A table form. So when you're done with each row, um, you can check them off. And then, you know, at a certain point, it'll say you're 20% done or you're 40% done. So right now I'm at 45%. So, Do you think she calculates that by rows or by stitches? I think by stitches because right okay. now, yeah. <laughs> it's right right before a huge increase where I we go from like 250 stitches to like 500 and something. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it, it, it doubles. Mm-hmm. It doubles, I mean, right. a little slightly less than double because you don't uh-huh. double the... the, the so um, the percentages will go up quicker. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, but then the rows will take longer. Yeah. Well, it looks really nice. Like, I just, it is like, so you were saying it's, it was simpler than my wedding shawl. But yes. it's got really nice, like, different bits of texture with, like, I mean, I guess it'll look different once it's blocked. But, like, with the ripples and then, like, the right solid now, bits the and holes. then the bits where there's little holes. Um, but it's largely solid. Uh, more solid than mine was then really yours. lacy. Yeah. yeah, your sister. This, this is soft. what your sister picked. Yeah. It's Which is funny because I feel like for Florida... It's cooler. I mean, I mean, it's warmer. It's warmer, <laughs> and she's picked the like solider shawl style, and it's a thicker yarn. It is. Mine. This is the fingering weight. Was that your choice though? You you were like, I don't want to do a lace weight shawl. <laughs> I didn't feel like I, ha- I would have enough time to finish a lace weight shawl, mm. and the lace weight lace weight shawls that she had picked because we were looking at all of them were lace on both sides, like. It was, um, you know, because usually a lot of the lace shawls, you do the lace work on the right side, and then on the wrong side, you just purl back. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and but the ones that she she picked, a lot of them had lace going both on both ways. sides, and mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. <laughs> 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 I don't have enough time for that. So that's that, and um, my specter. Sweater by Hohi Locatelli is coming along, and I have ah. I'm on the third color, and you can definitely tell that it's faded. Yeah, so you got the lighter blue, and then and the it's like the bright yeah, and the yolk, and then the brighter blue, and then just some introduction of purple, oh, purples and pinks, but with the same sort of t- what is that aquamarine kind the of running turquoise, turquoisey aquamarine yeah. running through the whole thing, which is definitely one of your colors that you like. It is. It is. I mean, I just I just went to the tourist shops yesterday and I bought a turquoise <laughs> scarf. Yeah. <laughs> and the last time you came here, you bought a turquoise blanket. Yes. Um, very good. Very nice. Although I, I noticed. What did you notice? 
on like your rib, the uh, what is this? The oh. on the knit stitch uh-huh. that like kind of, um, what do you call? What would you call this? These like vertical knit zips. Well, um, you you call them really wide, really ribbing. wide ribs. Yeah, I noticed that some of the, a couple of them were purled, and I was like, oh. What's that? And you were like, oh, I made a mistake. I just left it. I'm like, oh, okay, well, if you make mistakes, then I certainly can make mistakes. Here's one. Oh, yeah. It's only up here in the, in the second color, so I'm not going to. I mean, I could drop it all the way. In and, yeah, but it would be I, a lot of work. I, I can't be bothered. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. It looks. And then the sleeves will also be. The what do the sleeves be... look like? Are they just plain? Or They're they... just plain. Yeah. It's just... Well, I mean, it's the same. Oh, they have this. The. The, the the yeah the the was it reverse stocking net with the with the knit column mm. that's how I'm gonna explain it but the the back yeah. looks nice too except the back doesn't have the the cables on the yoke mm. yeah the the wrong side mm-hmm. the wrong side looks like it could be the right side of a different pattern yeah different style you can't really see the cables from the other side other than it just looks like you've done some increases and decreases or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So those are my two whips and I worked on both of them on the different flights. Mhm. What you got? What you got? I also worked on my whip on a flight to Barcelona. Um and it's my second go at <laughs> It's my second go at the uh jade dress. So last oh. time did I, I mentioned that I might start again, but I hadn't. You had. I had started. And you only had Oh yeah, like I had the little, I had a little shoulders. Yeah. Okay, so I've pretty much gotten nearly to the point of the last one where I've got another bolero. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out what the right So more is. than what you had done when you were in Florida, because in Florida it was just like, just like rings or whatever. Yeah, tangles. so I've, yeah. I don't know when I last time I tried it on, so let's just try it on. Oh no, it's too small. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. So this is what it looks like now. Looks familiar, doesn't it? But if I think it fits a bit better. Like, hopefully it's not too small. <laughs> I just don't know. Because <laughs> it, it does shrink a little bit width-wise. Just a tiny bit, uh-huh. maybe. So I might get to the point where the um, the V-neck joins. So how, how much further do you not have to go? Not that much more. Like, maybe there. So it's going to join that low all the way down here? Maybe. Yeah. Well, you're going to wear something underneath. Yeah, I'll have a dress on, a uh, slip on underneath. But, um, because, yeah, it's quite, it's like a V-neck and it's, I guess it's getting quite low. Sexy. <laughs> um, but I, I'll, um, wash it to get it to, and then try right. it on again. <laughs> and then hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll wash both of them. Oh my god, I just don't know. I don't know. I just have too many things I'm thinking about. This is the only thing that I've been working on. It went by pretty quickly, though, because I knew what I was doing this time around. Um, <sighs> I've still got the ruffly sleeves, and yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much all I've been working on. Um, that and your, your magazine. That and the magazine. She's been ver- working very hard. Yeah. Um, there's, like, bits of stray bits of uh yarn all over the place because i didn't want to cut it in case i had to rip it back out <laughs> so this is like <laughs> carry it over here carry it over here because you do have to cut the yarn a few times because of the way like the sleeves are done oh, i see or the armholes um but yeah uh, close up very nice okay and I don't have any FOs, but I think you have an FO. I have a small FO that I started a while ago and then and then never never spoke of again. This is um, The Crofters Kept by Wilma Malcolmson, I think. And it is the um, Shetland, Woolwick? Shetland Woolwick pattern. For this year? For this year. So, yeah. So I just used my... I didn't really have any, anything good to block it over, so mm. I just... I blocked it flat so there's like these little like oh, yeah. <laughs> like little ears that comes out um but these are the, the this is the the leftovers from my lovage sweater are but we... it's all like cool colors the yes. gray background and then purple and teal and blue and green yeah i i wanted to use the pink but it didn't really have enough pink 
to mm. to work to, to work in. Um, I do. I really do love the crown. It just everything comes to a star. Uh -huh. I did. I did change it up a little bit. Um, just the decrease. The decreases for the crown. I did a. I forget which which one it is, but it's the one where where you do you decrease it by two stitches, but there's like a center rib, instead of the whatever one that she had. <laughs> Which I thought looked a little messier, so I, I like that center rib. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, there's like a not rib, center um spine. That's what I was trying yeah, to say. Like a the spine. spine of stitches. Yeah, it's nice. It's very um abstract. I feel like some of the other Shetland wool we cats have had like well more... late, lately it's it's been like that like last year's i think was closer to it was like that where it didn't have any like recognizable Shapes. motifs mm, right i thought it had like boats that was, or what was that that was the year before oh okay right yeah but very good thank you um yeah and then i <laughs> i'm i'm waiting for october once the issue is out for a little bit of breathing room and hopefully do a bit more personal fun crocheting out. This is what we've been working on. Yes, yeah, so this is the envelope where the magazine is in and it's got its little more stamp. Um, so my mom has been packaging inky, that. Inky fingers from that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I did come to help. Mm -hmm. And I kept asking, what can I do? And I spent yesterday morning when I went on my walk, and then I came back and I was knitting, and you're doing your thing. And then you finally said, oh, I'll do this. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Well, I was at work, my work work, and it's hard to think about that many things at one time and <laughs> my other work, um, which I was... Your day job. My day job, which so I, I referred to that as my day job at some point. I was talking to somebody about doing another talk about... Um, the magazine or my experiences or whatever um and trying to schedule it and i was saying oh, i can't do mondays and tuesdays cause that's when i'm at my day job and she was like you have a day job and i was just like yeah actually at this point maybe more is my day job and like that job is my like sidekick but <laughs> anyway it's my day job because it's it's uh, got consistent hours um whereas yeah more it gets slotted in into all type all the yeah. times all the time. Anyway, this 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 is a uh, all we've got for today. Yep, we're gonna go to Ginger Twist later on today, so I can't even talk about that. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you know what I can talk about? I've got some yarny bits and bobs. Oh, she has yarny bits and bobs. So I mentioned that I went to, I was on a flight to Barcelona, um. So I came back from Barcelona on the same day that my mom arrived to Edinburgh. Um, so that was just a, a holiday because why not? Because why not? Um, we've got a friend who lives in Barcelona, so we stayed in his um, spare room, him and his, his girlfriend. So obviously I had to go to a yarn store um, and I went to one that was recommended to me by Faye of the Crochet Circle podcast. Uh, it's called La... I don't know. It's La, La Lana Lou. La Lana Lou? Mm. But I think because like Lana would be like wool, uh huh, la la na lu, la la na lu, <laughs> um, la la na lu, yeah. Anyway, so they recommended that I one particularly it. because it's very crochet friendly. And so I spoke to one of the owners, and she just pretty much crochets and doesn't really knit. And then the other uh, crochets and knits. So you know between the two of them, that's like three quarters crochet and just a quarter knitting. <laughs> Uh, and the shop itself was really, really cute. Um, I'll maybe post a picture. I took one picture from the outside. Um, and it's in the neighborhood of Gracia, which is very, like, kind of artsy. And um, and I bought one skein of yarn, just a souvenir skein. So it's kind of like a, is it like a khaki green? Or a, a leafy green. A leafy green. Um, and it's, I don't know. Okay. Sock una troca. I don't. That must be in Spanish. I don't know. You took Spanish. I didn't. Um, una <laughs> means one or a. <laughs> that, that's all I know. Um, but the... 
I don't even know if, if the yarn itself is maybe uh, terra. terra is the, the yarn, but it's 100% um, merino. Mm. And it says merino local, non superwash. Uh, it's hand dyed in Catalonia, so that's why I got this one because it was super local. Is that fingering? So yeah, I think it's I think it's fingering oh, weight. I would a heavy fingering. I'd maybe? say it's fingering weight. It looks like a soft yarn. It's 100 grams, 400 meters. That's well, nice. I wouldn't use it for socks if it's 100 percent merino. Hmm. But yeah, it's very nice, and the shop is very nice. Um, and I think they also how were, how how much were you attracted to the label? Um, why? Because it's just like a simple craft paper, yes. craft brown craft paper. <laughs> Um, I don't think I really thought about that too much, okay. but I knew that I wanted to get something a bit special. So I, I, I they did have is Isiager, is Isager, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> We've had this conversation before. Um, so I didn't get that. Um, so I'd, I'd never heard of this particular indie dyer. Um, but yeah, what I was gonna say is that the shop they I think they they co-host one of the like the barcelona yarn festival oh nice i can't remember what it's called exactly but we will go go there <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that, that's my yarny bits and bobs okay and now we're done we are okay so we'll say goodbye but maybe hopefully say hello to some people at sweater weather yes make sure hopefully. to come say hello we'll be I... in the what did i say the tannery room which will be it's like up the stairs and to the right well this will come out afterwards will it I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll have said we, we, we don't know <laughs> when this is going to be published. We're very very busy. Okay, so I'll do my spiel. Okay. You can find the show notes for this episode and every episode on our website, which is kcacypodcast.wordpress.com. You can follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is also kcacypodcast, or my personal one is Allison here, and my mom's is upstate underscore viv make sure to like and comment and subscribe and follow and heart and review the podcast wherever you're listening on itunes or other podcast apps on youtube etc mm-hmm. um what else do i normally say you can join the ravelry group if you want to just search for keep calm and carry on on the groups tab so thank you for listening and remember to keep calm and carry on bye bye